Okie dokie, right, I'm on the wireless mic today, so let's see how that sounds. What I want to do is, you can see in the background, we have YouTube. What I want to do is an update, and I do this quite often. Uh, basically, I want to um, progress the story, which is basically, there are at least 15 accounts, fake accounts, that have been created in order to simply abuse me and they are used by this person or persons, uh, I suspect it's only one, uh, who has a problem not only with himself but there's a problem with me and I don't know exactly who it is but I can guess there are a couple of um, people that have had uh, run-ins and have taken it upon themselves to have a, a beef uh, and of course it could be just a normal troll uh, who has an issue with me for whatever reason and um, they are deliberately creating channels which is the accounts that they make in Google uh, YouTube that you have to have you have to link them to an email address or a phone number uh, and um, Google YouTube allow them to have as far as I know as many as they like because there's hardly any restrictions about creating accounts apparently so and I've been in conversation with YouTube I've had this long-standing long-running email discussion We've actually got to the point now where we are on the third person who is dealing with this and basically the outcome of every email that I send them saying well the accounts are still there and I have reported them by your own methods and they're still there so clearly they give a shit not about any of their guidelines. The guidelines are very specific uh, about abuse um, the fake accounts, they're, they're, they're quite hot about that. However, uh, evidence is in the um, observation. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and have a look at these accounts, see if they're still active. L fingers crossed, fingers crossed I can remake a video today that they have done exactly what they said they were going to do. The accounts that are fake as you can see there's my wife, there's my mum, and there's me, and there's my dad. Basically the accounts are, and these are the ones that I know about. Obviously there may be more. But today I'm going to start with my accounts. Allegedly, it should be fairly easy for me to highlight a fake account impersonating me because A, they're using my name, B, they're using my photo or my icon and it's quite plainly obvious when you look at the fake account and my account that my account is a real one and these are the fake ones and there's three of them that I know about. The problem is that when you have these accounts that they make them, they're actually banned on my YouTube pages so they can't, um, they can't leave comments on my page because they are actually now as soon as I get the link, I can ban them uh, and I delete the comments because they are moderated, basically. So what they have to do is they have to make some more accounts to get in there and be able to leave comments. But what they're doing also is using these accounts to go on other people's channels and leave abuse there. This is the whole thing, which I have no control over. So I can't control where they go with these accounts in my name. So this is a worrying bit. Luckily, some of the people that have had abuse left have the common sense to realise that it's not me. And they have actually reported those channels, those accounts. But channels and accounts are the same thing because you have to have a, an account which is a channel name. And um, so they are one and the same thing, if you're wondering. So anyway, yeah, because um, I do know for a fact that abuse has been left several places in my name and uh, in my wife's name. So we'll give it in and we'll put the, um, copy the link in there 
and then we will see if it's actually been removed or not. Nope, not been removed. So basically, uh, if we refresh, uh, because it could be that it's in the cache. Um, I'm not sure where the cache is. Control key F5, okay. Con or hold Control and Shift and then press R. So Control F5. And this should give us, well there you are. That proves it. It's still live. So that, that account there is one of the three. Paste and enter. And there we go. That's the second channel. We'll do Control F5 just to make sure that it's actually live and it is here and enter and the third account which we will do control f5 control f5 and bing so that's three accounts in my name my channel name and also my icons you see and they have they were reported all of these were reported at least twice last week uh once the week before and um many times since february and including in emails to youtube and we have a look at that so you can see that content intended to impersonate a person or a channel is not allowed right they try to give you an excuse about you know what being oh it's a problem we've got no staff blah 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 but I've been in conversation with them on email. Uh, I'm sorry, but that is absolute bollocks. Just to clarify, that those three and, and the other the other accounts on the left there, which I'm not going to be checking, but uh, basically I'll be checking all of them. But I, I I suspect that they're all live still even now, and it's a week and a half later, and I I reported all of those last week twice with. Um, with all of the options you can do so flagging it for for spam flagging it for impersonation flagging it for cyberbullying flagging it for the graphics as well because they're copyrighted technically because it's my logo and my name so you know, i mean you can't have a trademark because it's not trademarkable i mean i don't, don't really understand why, why i would need that because impersonation is the the channel there is uh, essentially designed to uh, fool people into thinking that they are me and I am getting a little bit sick of it and they, the last email I had they claimed that they were oh dealing with it um hang on you're not dealing with it I'm sorry to say but this is week another week and halfway through the week and all of these accounts I'm pretty confident all of them will still be active what is the point? What is the point of having guidelines if you're not going to do anything about it? So what really pisses me off is you can go onto Twitter and there'll be a whole load of, whole load of people on there complaining to YouTube about, oh, we've lost our account, we've, we've got this, that and the other wrong with our account. And immediately they get a response saying, oh, we've dealt with that. It's like, oh, there was one there today. There was one, oh, we've had this done. Uh, oh, we deleted that. All right, well, hang on. How can you do it that quick when there's 15 channels there and you haven't removed any of them? I mean, the situation is, YouTube, do something.